Good evening. Welcome to Interesting Talks with Footprints Counselling Service. We've come out for a little bit of nature this evening. Hopefully, um, might give you a little bit of a boost. I'm not sure what everybody's going through. Um, today's talk is going to be on boundaries. What we do, what boundaries are, because some people are not really that much aware of what boundaries are and how useful they can be for your day-to-day -day life. And um, what we can do when people are not paying attention to our boundaries. So how do we defend ourselves when we've set our boundaries? So do like, share and leave comments. Um, I really appreciate listening to them or reading them. And I certainly will reply. And again, everybody learns from other people's statements because I can't say something that fits everybody's understanding, obviously. So boundaries, how do they work? What are they? In general, it's just your rules, your definition of what you're prepared to accept from other people. Um, some people, might, you know, a boundary could be if you're invited to um, a wedding or reception, people need to come on time. They can't be late. If you invite somebody for a meal and they, they, they don't turn up once, one of your boundaries might be never to invite them again. Um, in, in the workplace, um, one of your boundaries might be that you don't mind talking shop talk with your colleagues or your boss, but when they start asking you about your personal life, if you've got a boyfriend, if you've got a girlfriend, you know, what sexuality you are, your, 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 your preference, that's none of their business. And you have every single right to stand up to them and say, no, stop, I don't want to talk about that. I don't mind talking about work-related issues, but my private life, unless I bring it into the conversation, is not something for you to start asking me about. This also applies, again, in relationships with your, 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 the person that you're with. If they're not prepared to do certain things or that you say you don't like happening, as in they might use that, um, vile language, it might be somebody who swears a lot, and you say to them stuff like, you know, you're not into vulgar language. If you've got something to say to me, say it to me, but don't use vulgar language. And if they continue to do it, then of course, again, you've got to put your hand up and say to them, look, this isn't working. You need to stop using this kind of language when you're addressing me, or you have to name the consequences to these people so that they understand that they are crossing your boundaries. Now, everybody's got the right to set their own boundaries. Um, I find that a lot of people don't really have them and then they get swept along by the, wheel, by the wind, should I say. They go in all kinds of different directions where they necessarily wouldn't have gone to if they'd had their boundaries, told people what to expect and what people are not prepared, to, what they're not prepared to put up with and what the consequences will be. Now, usually I advise people and I advise myself that it's almost like a free, free, free strikes and you're out sort of thing. First thing, you know, obviously you tell the person, for example, I don't like vulgar language being used around me and I don't mind communicating with you on any other level about anything you want to talk about, but don't swear at me, you know? And if you do, then I'll stop talking to you as much as I do now. And if you continue to do it, then I'll completely stop talking to you. And that's your, that's your boundary. That's what you've told them. It's not that difficult. And it's much easier, I must admit, when it, it, if we're talking about relationships, that you tell people this sort of thing from the outset. Because usually people get used to a certain way of talking to you, a certain way of dealing with you. And when you start to tell them exactly what you don't want or what, you, what you're prepared to put up with, they find it very difficult to start accepting these new rules and regulations that you're putting over to them. But it's your right. So you have the right to say what you think, what you feel, and obviously the consequences that will follow up if the person keeps crossing the line. Now I find that people that don't have boundaries, they're really, you know, a lot of them wouldn't say pushovers, but you find that people do tend to take a lot of advantages of them. They say things and ask them to do things that are way beyond their um, remit, what they shouldn't be doing. And they do them for people to try to people please. So I find that if you've got a good um, set of boundaries in place, it can also help you to be more self-confident and more self-assured of who you are and what you want out of life. So hopefully this was useful because I do know people that don't have much familiarity with boundaries and they tend to let people walk over them. And if you 
know anybody that could do with listening to something like this because you feel that people do take a lot of advantages of them feel free to share it with them also with with friends and family share it with them leave comments and take care of yourself over the next two weeks until i see you again thank you very much for watching bye for now